you get it, you get it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, stop talking. Okay, see, stop talking. Suppose we have one molecular formula, C3H6O. This molecule you see. Oh yeah. Can you write down the structure? Can you write down the structure of this? Molecule. So it has molecule. Okay. <laughs> what is the structure of this? What is the structure of this one? Cyclic? Cyclic with uh, three carbons and one O. Possible. No, won't the okay. O be like outside the grid? So no, like, How many structures possible? How many structures possible? Two structures possible. No, no, no. Harris, what is the answer? Keep it inside. Okay, stop talking. Keep it inside. What is the structure possible for this? So like, I think, uh, all so, all like, so it has two, like ketone or ketone and one of them. Ketone and aldehyde. Yeah. 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 How do we know that? Yeah. How do we know that? C2H5CH2. And in DOU we can calculate, no? Oh yeah. We can calculate DOU, degree of saturation. What is DOU for this? So it's a, 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 it's a,
what was the formula? C plus one minus H plus X minus one by two. GOC might have done it. Revise the question. H plus X minus one. Minus N. Minus N. By two. H plus X minus N divided by two. Okay. This is the formula, right? For this one, if you calculate DOU, you'll get zero. That's why I have drawn the structure where there is no pi bond present. One is alcohol, other one is ether. Right? So this gives you an idea that whether we have double bond present or not in the molecule. Correct? So this, these molecules, which has the same molecular formula, but they are different, but they are, they are, you know, physical and chemical properties are different. So these kind of molecules, we call it as isomers of each other, right? Isomerism is what? Isomerism is a phenomenon in which that a given molecule can exist in two different structural units, right? Two different structural formula, correct? So these are the isomers of each other. Isomers we always define in a pair. We cannot say this molecule is isomer. Not possible. This is the isomer of this. This is the isomer of this, or vice versa, we can say. Okay? So write down isomerism. It is a phenomenon. It is a phenomenon in which a given molecule, a given molecule can represent, can represent into uh, can be represented into two or more two or more structural unit two or more structural unit in which their physical and chemical properties are different in which their physical and chemical properties are different next line all these different structural units, all these different structural units are called, are called isomers of each other. Example right now, these two examples here right now, are called isomers of each other. Classification. These two examples you write down. Two types of two major classification we have in isomerism. One is structural structural isomerism, and other one is stereo isomerism. You have done this chapter in the school. Finished. Now we're doing the no, isomerism, what are things you have done in isomerism? So we did A, A and B, except all of them. you have done. Yeah. And uh, conformational? No. No. So what are conformational? Huh. So structural isomerism further classified into five or six different, uh, you know, categories. The first one is chain, chain isomerism. The second one is positional isomerism. Functional isomerism. <coughs> then we have metamerism. Next one we have ring chain. And the last one are tautomers. Tautomerism. Okay. Tautomerism is very important for competitive exam. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, league, whatever you see, tautomerism is very important. Okay. All these, these are very basic. You have definitions, examples. Sometimes they ask me the question, these two molecules are, shows what kind of isomerism, chain, position, and all. So definition, if you know, you can find it out, okay? This is one part of structural, uh, part of isomerism. Stereoisomerism, again, classified in two categories. That is, um, configurational, configurational, and conformational. Configurational and conformational. <coughs> okay. Configurational again we have two types. Configurational again we have two types. That is geometrical. 
ज्योमेट्रिकल एंड ऑप्टिकल ज्योमेट्रिकल एंड ऑप्टिकल ओके सो टू बेसिकली फॉर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू टॉटोमेरिज्म इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ज्योमेट्रिकल ऑप्टिकल कंफर्मेशन ऑल दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट ओके ऑप्टिकल आइसोमेरिज्म इज देयर इन अ चैप्टर इन 12th स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड ज्योमेट्रिकल ऑप्टिकल वी हैव देयर आल्सो राइट सो यूजुअली व्हाट दे डू दे मिक्स द कांसेप्ट हियर एंड द कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड द चैप्टर विल डू इन 12th स्टैंडर्ड दे मिक्स द टू कांसेप्ट एंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन देयर लास्ट इज वी जेई में एक क्वेश्चन इज पेयर right that's why this chapter is very important because this application is again there again there in 12th standard okay so we'll discuss all these first and then we'll see geometrical optical and conformation okay see conformational isomers are what i'll just give you a little bit of idea geometrical isomerism is because of because of unsaturation present in the molecule for example suppose if i draw this molecule c double bond c cs3 h cs3 h what is the name of this compound Okay, if I ask you write down the structure of but to in, write down this structure, or you write down this structure. Right. Sister. Yeah. Sister. So both yeah. structures are different. Yeah. Why they are different? Why they are different in nature? Because the same position of the methyl group. Whatever distance we have here between the two methyl group. is suppose we have l1 and here it is l2 so this l2 is greater than l1 now because of this difference in the distance between the two methyl group what happens the steric hindrance if you consider here it will be more than this because two bulky group if it's close more hindrance will be there if it is far apart the hindrance will be less correct so here the hindrance is less here the hindrance is more So stability factor, if you consider this one, is more stable because of you know better packing and less hindrance. Trans molecule will always have better packing. That's why they have more melting point also. All these property we'll see later. But this is geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomers because of unsaturation double bond. Why these two molecules are different? Because we have hindered rotation over here. We cannot rotate. See, if you rotate this carbon atom this way, you'll get this compound. But this rotation is not possible. And why it is not possible? Because this pi bond as forms because of lateral overlapping, right? Suppose this is sigma bond we have, and pi bond forms like this. Okay, this overlap is pi bond. If you want to rotate one of the carbon atom, you have to break this pi bond, right? Which is not possible. You cannot break the bond, right? So this molecule is different. This molecule is different, right? Because this rotation is hindered because of pi bond, right? But if you write this compound, CH. Single bond C H, C H three H, C H three H, and this one you see C H single bond C H, H, C H three, C H three H. These two compounds are same or different? Same compound. However, this C H three is written this side, but we have a single bond here. so rotation is not hindered you can rotate one of the carbon atom is right so these two compounds are exactly same compound because they have one single bond how do you know when there will be like interference and when will have like a hydrogen bond form is like in the first case with lesser distance uh, can't we say that hydrogen might like uh, take an electron or give an electron but that's only with electronegative element right yes hydrogen bond is possible when hydrogen atom is bonded with the electronegative element like chlorine oxygen and nitrogen mainly these three to some extent with chlorine also it is possible with sulfur also it is possible so here there is no hydrogen bond okay aur aisa nahi hoga ki electron le liya hai uske liye condition you need to provide theek hai ab to hamesha electron le lega aur de dega none of the compound will be stay with that theek hai to aisa nahi ho sakta ki again dil se nahi soch raha main wahi bol raha hu chemistry khas kar karne ki is a story i am telling you that story this one kabhi movie dekh le hoga फर्स्ट इफ यू सी द मूवी यू अंडरस्टैंड 50% ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ठीक है अब जब दोबारा देखो तो कौन सा अच्छा यहां पे ये डायलॉग इसलिए बोला है तो देन यस 60% 70% दैट्स व्हाई फॉर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम दैट्स लाइक ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री यू हैव टू फिनिश ट्वाइस तब जाके थोड़ा समझ में आएगा करना है सो फर्स्ट टाइम यू हैव टू टेक इट एज ओके चलो स्टोरी चल रहा है यू फील लाइक यू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग बट व्हेन यू गेट द क्वेश्चन चार आंसर मिलेंगे सो इट्स नॉट दैट इजी 
बिकॉज इसको एक्सेप्टेंस और जो यू नो द वे ऑफ यू नो अप्रोच द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द फिजिकल सो उसको समझना पड़ेगा दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो द पॉइंट इज इट्स नॉट लाइक हाइड्रोजन विल टेक इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड बॉन्ड एंड फॉर्म सिस्ट ऐसा होगा नहीं उसके लिए वे ऑफ सॉल्वेंट टेम्परेचर रिएक्शन कंडीशन एवरीथिंग इज देर ओके सो दिस इज जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमेरिज्म बिकॉज ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड ऑप्टिकल इज वॉट ऑप्टिकल इज द बिहेवियर ऑफ ए मॉलिक्यूल टूवर्ड्स प्लेन पोलराइज लाइट वॉट इज प्लेन पोलराइज लाइट आई डिस्कस दैट इन डिटेल जब हम लोग पढ़ेंगे ऑप्टिकल आइसोम राइट बट द मॉलिक्यूल हैज अ नेचर वेन द प्लेन पोलराइज पासिस थ्रू अ मॉलिक्यूल इट आइदर रोटेट्स इन क्लॉक वाइज और एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सपोज लाइट ऐसे जा रहा है थ्रू द मॉलिक्यूल इफ इट पास इट डिविएट्स आइदर इन दिस डायरेक्शन और इन दिस डायरेक्शन so when deviation is there the molecule is said to be optically active okay there are molecules through which if the light passes it you know comes out without any deflection so those molecules are what optically inactive so optical activity is the behavior of a molecule towards ppl plane polarized light okay ab if, if the question you will get in the exam that whether this molecule is optically active or not You won't do this experiment. No, sorry, or lab me leke jao ge isko molecule ko, and then you'll do perform the experiment and check our deviation here. It's not possible, right? So definition: hai. how to find out whether the given molecule is optically active or not. Uske liye we have a different way. Wo kaise karenge? That also we'll see. Conformational isomers is again the rotation of one carbon atom across carbon carbon single bond. As I have written examples, suppose you write. ठीक है और व्हेन यू रोटेट दिस द रिलेटिव डिस्टेंस ऑफ मिथाइल मिथाइल ग्रुप और हाइड्रोजन हाइड्रोजन विल चेंज विद द रोटेशन सपोज वी हैव टू मिथाइल ग्रुप प्रेजेंट लाइक दिस एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर नाउ व्हेन यू रोटेट दिस द डिस्टेंस ऑफ द मिथाइल ग्रुप इज चेंजिंग राइट सो इट कीप्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग 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 एंड देन डिक्रीजेस राइट सो व्हेन दिस डिस्टेंस चेंजेस राइट दिस अल्टर्स द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल आल्सो Correct. So same molecule with different different properties with this rotation, we call it as conformers of each other or conformational isomers. Correct. So all these three things are very important. Stereo isomers is more important in this chapter. Okay, we'll discuss all these things later. So first we'll see this. So so those top two compounds, whether it's single bond and it rotates, those are not the same compound because they are conformational isomers. In this one. We have taken the same this position and this position. If you see, their prop, their no property will be same because it's alkane. Their dipole moment will be zero, right? Relative distance will also be same. When I do this in the detail, you'll understand. C S three H C S three के opposite C S three आएगा H के opposite हो जाएगा. So when we'll do this in the detail, you'll understand that compound is same. But when you change the position of C S three, their position will be different. Okay, here I am not changing the position. I am just giving you the molecules, correct? But in alkane, we can define conformational isomers, right? We can define conformational isomers in alkane. We have this example: conformational isomers ethane, propane, butane. One is the most important one. We'll get four different conformers over there that we'll discuss. Okay.